Hey traders, John Howell speaking and in today's video I want to cover the XJO on the Australian market. Now we're looking at probably uh, a good two to three years worth of data down the bottom here and uh, we can see we just got a 200 moving average on the chart. Now I'm looking at a weekly chart here and I just want to open it up a bit more to see what's really going on here as in uh, the smaller picture here. And um, there's a couple of things we can see going on here. The first thing we can see is that there's a really good Let's squeeze this chart a bit more. Okay, there we go. First thing we can see is that there's a really good support line through there. Okay, we had support, support, and now ran up, made resistance, and now popped back down. The other thing we can also notice is that this level through here, which has made a double bottom, has now been support as well. So we've had one support, two support, which became resistance, and now pop, um, that's now popped straight back down, found a double bottom, and now running back up. Now, what I've actually seen in this chart is uh, there's no one really in control at the moment, okay? And there's no one really, overall momentum is down, but there's no one really in control. And why I say that is this. If we have a look at a closer picture, we can really see that if we have a look at this peak here, and this peak here, and this trough here, and this trough here, okay? We have a lower peak, but now equal trough. Um, that is actually showing strength from the buyers, but strength from the sellers. So all in all, when we see this sort of thing, uh, sometimes you just got to step back and say, okay, then wait for someone to show who's in control. Now, what I like to do in this situation is actually, especially when you're trying to get the sort of the bigger picture, where the, where the market's like to go, the bigger picture, um, we, we can see where the market is right now. You can see the good 4,200. So I say, okay, it, let, let the market filter out a bit. And let's see what the market's going to do. You got the 4,200 support. If we do start to get a back above this four, this level through here, if we do start to get back above that level and start to close above it, we could probably see a, a nice run back up towards these highs, towards the four, towards the, towards the five thousand dollar level, or towards the five thousand level. If we cannot hold that and we start to break below this level here, well then we've got some more downside to come. So I know it's a bit of a general view of where the market is and what's happening with the market and, and all that sort of stuff. But when we're actually looking at this market, when we're using this market, sometimes it is confusing to look at. So you've got to sit back and say, okay, what's really going on here? And then, and then analyze it. Now let's flick over to the daily chart. Let's see what we can see on the daily chart. What we can see on the daily chart is this. We can see that we have probably this little head and shoulder pattern formation here, right? And we can see that the market has clearly broken out of this little downtrend here and now broken back up. So if, if the market does start to once again start to close below, start to get back above this resistance line from say from here, okay, this whole level here is resistance. We get back above there and back above the 200, then it looks like we're gonna have a nice little run back up, right back up to the highs there. So that's what I'm looking at there, and that's what we're look, that's what that's what we're looking at going forward. And uh, so always do analysis, and sometimes when the market's confusing, or someone's like, what's what's going on with the market? Sometimes the best thing is actually just go back to peaks and troughs, support resistance, not do anything at all, and then wait wait for the market to show you. So um, anyway, that's just, that's just a bit of analysis there to show you what's going on with the market. Right again, no one's really in control. Buyers are showing strength, but the sellers are overall in control. So let's see what happens if the market starts to break out of this above the two back 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 above the two hundred moving average. That could see us back in a nice up from ten. If not, we could see some more downside. So keep an eye on those markets. Keep doing your analysis, and I'll speak to you soon.